Hey, hey, what's up, everyone? It's Simon Chan. I hear the fur you up and get you going. Got to do a little dance there. Celebrating it is Friday. I'm excited and um, hope you're all doing well here. Anyway, good to see you here Friday. I'm going to fire you pump you up. Today's a little different. Started off. You'll get a good mood. It is Friday. It's time to celebrate. And I uh, think about a lot of things I'm grateful for. And uh, definitely grateful for you all for being here. Anyway, today we're talking about the best feedback you can get. Okay. Best feedback you can get that will help you out. And um, anyway, drop it in a comment. Let me know where you're dialing from. We just wait till, uh, before we talk about the feedback. One thing I want to know, I'm out in Los Angeles. I'm excited. Got a little jiggle, a little dance. <clears throat> and you know, one thing I'm grateful for was, as I was, I was, as I was about to go live today, I was thinking about uh, when the, this early this week when my, my Facebook uh, you know, this live wasn't working, and I was just like, oh my goodness, that felt so weird. Or the time I, do, I used on my desktop, the comments weren't coming. Like, you're a part of my family. I appreciate you all. It sounds weird, it sounds corny and cheesy, but I felt, it's, I'm like relieved. Like, I was thinking about my wins of the week, right? Whatever wins, and what are the weak wins was fi fixing uh, when it didn't work? Like, I was really frustrated for like two, three days. I could not go live on my phone until I deleted the app and reinstalled it. So, I, I appreciate you all. Much love. I feel like, Sylvie, good to see you. Jan, you're probably like my family, my morning, I start the morning routine. And, uh, and by the way, routine is one of the things that help you stay consistent. The relationship the accountability. By the way, I talk all about this in the consistency bill. Okay, the book coming out with you 38 days from now. Uh, by the way, we had a book drop coming out that came out on Wednesday. If you missed the goodie, not book drop, goodie drop, uh, let me know. And the next one will be coming out next week. I shared a really embarrassing moment. How many of you saw that? Yeah, or oh, checked out the goodie. Very embarrassing moment. Talk about fear of success. Anyway, if you're part of the book club, if, except you, if you, uh, don't, don't message me, drop in club in the comments, I'll send you these goodies, okay? Thank you, Sylvie, glad this is helpful. But anyway, I appreciate you all for being here. I like, I felt, sounds cheesy, whatever, I'm not the type of person to say this, but uh, I felt really relieved. One of my wins this week was figuring out, so I can go live, Cello, good to see you here. Bob, good morning. Lizelle, good morning. Chuck, Cynthia, Nelly, Julia, Alisa. Good to see you here, Bob. Starting, starting the morning with you all here. It's uh, Wilson out in Taipei. I appreciate your voice and hopping on. But anyway, great to see your comments. Uh, and that's accountability. Being able to talk to someone, the people you hung out with, makes a huge part of staying consistent. All right. Lindsay, good morning, my friend. All right. Today, I'm going to share something about feedback, right? If you want to grow fast, okay, when everyone, if you want to grow fast, is you got to get feedback. That's why, and I share with my son, uh, you know, he was struggling with baseball, made, you know, hired a hitting coach, made, uh, had a lesson last week, made a small minor tweak, and instantly, boom, okay, took off. Had a great, great weekend. Now, we got a huge, huge tournament tomorrow and Saturday against some of the top 10 teams in the whole country at 10, 10 years old. So uh, on Monday, I'll let you know how that goes. Uh, you probably see, you'll be, you'll be seeing on social media. But um, it's, yeah, the, the feedback is immediate and clear and, and clear. That's when you learn quickly, right? So I want you guys all need a mentor. You need a mentor. You need a coach, someone that can give you quick feedback, right? When the feedback is delayed or, you know, not clear, people rarely learn, right? So that's the different types of training. People are successful. Someone that interviewed me on a, on a podcast, what makes, what, uh, what are some uh, traits of top leaders? Top leaders go invest in themselves. They go find that feedback. One of the best books I read was this book called Talent is Overrated. Talk about top performers. Get immediate feedback, right? So immediate feedback for, and, and this encourages you to, to stay consistent. Hey, Joe Luciano, good to see you. So I'll give you an example. If you are doing a social media post and get feedback on that, immediate feedback, right? Because then you know, if it's good, then you wait. You you make it a little bit better. You know which direction to go. If it's not good, then you're like, all right, let me change direction a little bit. Or what's a little tweak? Just like my son with his baseball, he had to make a minor adjustment just by bending his knees a little bit. Made a huge difference. Bending his knees just a little tiny bit, right? Or widen his, widen his stance a little bit. Same thing for you in business. What are the small little tweaks that you need? You need to get that feedback. Get that from an upline. Get that from a mentor. Someone sideline, right? Someone, or even um, hire a coach. Someone that gives you that feedback. That's when you're gonna grow. That's when you grow the quickest, and then you implement. You get good again, and then you can get feedback again, and then you go. So that's what top performers do. I just want to share that with you. As you think about this week, 
Okay, the weekend. What are some things uh, related to this? You got to write down your wins. Think about the wins you had this week. Uh, I also plan out your week. Okay, for next week, what is your plan? Today, I want you to finish strong, push hard. Okay, it is also the end month, month end. No, I don't have to say this. A lot of you, your company pays you monthly. Go push hard. Go celebrate tomorrow. But today, you got to push hard to the final bell. You know, when I built my team, we had a culture. Friday Night Madness. Friday Night Madness is you go crazy, you look at your prospect list, and you follow up with every single person that you can think of. If you run out of people, go back. We just follow up. We probably follow up with hundreds of people on Friday. Hundreds. Some people, most people, by the way, 95% will never pick up our call, never return our messages, never. But we just, you know, the 5% that do, maybe one out of five will actually be a customer. So, Push strong, create that coach union team. Go, 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 go. Saturday, Sunday, you want to relax a little bit? Great. But Friday, you push hard and finish strong. All right, everyone, that is my message for you. Uh, oh, actually, one big announcement. I forgot. Bless you, the book club. Uh, we got a webinar coming up on mastering the five stages of the recruiting process. Okay, the five stages. It's about um, the, the, the marketing, the branding how the reach outs, the presentation, talk about crafting a good presentation, the psychology of closing, how do you transition someone from presentation to close. Become that, it's a free webinar, drop a webinar in the comments, I'll send it out to you. Uh, I think it's available now, if not, definitely later uh, this afternoon, uh, the, the registration page is being set up, I'll send it out to you, all right? So go check out the webinar, Mastering the Five Stages of the Recruiting Process, you can share that with your teams, it's free for everyone. And, uh, Hey, that's it. I'm fired up. I did a little dance to start off. Finish the week strong. Have an awesome weekend. Go out there, get that feedback, and uh, apply what you learn. And be safe, and go out there and have a positive impact on someone's life. God bless. I'll see you back on Monday.